Perhaps. But all we sought was a safety valve, Mr. Jensen. A means of making sure the world would never spin out of control. The potential of this technology is great, but as we've seen, its potential for destruction is even greater. Your doomsday scenario doesn't impress me. You'd say anything to stay in power. Do you think humanity will simply police itself? We do not live in some Eden, Mr. Jensen. Or are you that much like your boss, David Seraf, who envisions a world where everyone is enhanced and suddenly they all love each other? There will always be a need for methods of control. And conveniently, in your future, the Illuminati will hold the reins. Not directly. There are organizations already in place that are better equipped to handle certain things. The UN, for instance. Reimagine, no doubt. At least somewhat. And this technology will be a great part of it. Imagine, Mr. Jensen, a world governed by common principles. The end to international power struggles, to terrorism. These things can be accomplished if you join us. Yeah, your arguments really don't compel me. Um, Illuminati ends now. Sorry, you've been fired. I'm relieving you of your duties. Get that shit out of here. Uh, if people really want this shit bad enough, they're gonna find a way to take it anyway, regardless of any regulations or whatnot. Besides, does he forget that I annihilated his entire security force in front of his face? Not sure I appreciate that. Well, I suit his needs, now he's uh, willing to befriend me? I don't fucking think so. Even though that may not be programmed into the game, well, so be it. That's my stance and I'm sticking to it. Okay, where the fuck do I need to go? This is... Okay, we need to drop down a few levels. Punch just for the hell of it. Just because it looks kind of cool. Kind of. Oh shit, did I kill everything? Huh. I did. How about that? <laughs> is anybody there? Can you hear me? I've got survivors here. We've locked ourselves in a machine room. Please! Help us! Uh, and then he, he, he tries to be snide with uh, Jensen's so-called perception of Eden. And, uh, and then he goes on and says the, li says the line, uh, what was it, it's a world governed by, well, he said something about control governed by common regulations or some shit. I don't remember, my memory is terrible. And uh, yeah, is that pretty much not the Eden you're looking for? Really? Like anyone's gonna be able to unite this many fucking people in the world. Hey guys, exploding barrel! Oh shit! Oh, oh Jesus Christ! That was a lot. Oh, yep, get out of the way. Uh huh. What, you like dancing? I like dancing too. Yep, too slow. Oh, you weren't expecting blade out the elbow, were you? Stupid idiot. <laughs> Yeah, you don't really have to do any- Oh, okay, they've blown themselves up. That's bizarre. What, what are you- Are you doing the funky chicken? Oh, he is now. <laughs> who's still alive down here? What, who's talking? Okay, that was weird. I've never seen an explosion just come out of nowhere like that. Huh. Oh, shit. Well, maybe they walked onto a fragmentation mine. That's entirely possible. Get this shit out of the way. Get this shit out of the way! Mela! 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 Fuck Don't you! Hurt me. Please! I'll be the judge of that. It's okay. Okay. That you need to go close. to sleep. You need to go to sleep. You're annoying. Stupid foreigners and they're crying. Hey, boss, what's up? Adam! Oh, thank God you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities, and Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh, my God, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? 
Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world, tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son, you have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. You've got no remorse about using me at all, do you? I never used you, son. You experimented with my DNA without telling me. Ah. <sighs> Adam, this is difficult. Listen, Megan, Megan came to me with the sample. When she showed me her finding, when I saw, when we saw the incredible potential of super compatibility. You just had to share it with the world. Adam, think about it. Would you have been able to do any of the things you've done without enhancements? Huh? Most people's bodies aren't as accepting of this technology as yours is. Sharing your DNA makes it possible for us to be like you. How can you deny us that chance? Who said I would deny it? You stole my DNA and lied to me. You didn't give me the choice. I'm giving it to you now, Adam. Look, I admit it, I haven't done things the best way. But don't punish the world to spite me. Daryl wants us to live in the Dark Ages. The Illuminati wants to limit evolution to those they control. You and me, we... Don't group me with you, Seraph. I'll make my own choices from here. I believe that, son. And I believe... you'll make the right ones. Aww, he believes in me. I know blaming humanity front leaves a sour taste in your mouth. But it's the only way out of this. So go. The longer that signal broadcasts, the harder it'll be to convince people. Go to sleep. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he believes in me now. Let's see if he's uh let's see if he's got gills. What do you mean stay away? What? You don't like violence? I love violence, so too You're still sitting up. You're supposed to be dead. See, you're still standing there for reasons I can't quite understand. You are an idiot, and you are a loudmouth bitch. I hate you. Now, should I kill the boss man? Will it matter? Experience says no, it won't. Oh shit, are you dead? Yep, yes you are. Ah, uh, well, I mean, the way I see it is if man wants to move a dumpster, He's gonna go get a forklift, and if he can do that while augmented, I don't see why. What's the problem? I mean, the guy with the forklifts can still cause, you know, just as well. I shouldn't say maybe just as much destruction, but he can cause some pretty good damage, you know. And I mean, I don't know how being augmented changes that. Like I said, I mean, if this technology were possible, I think people would be all over that shit. I mean, obviously there would be the. Uh, <clears throat> the people trying to hold it down if pe if the uh, rejection syndrome were there, but you know not all technology is perfect. Not er not everything is without its side effects. You know what I mean? So me, I am pro og. I don't see why not. It's technology. Man is always trying to make things to make life more convenient, and augmentations are one of those things that will make life more convenient. Then again, who wouldn't like the typhoon bitches all day? Okay, what have we got in here? Hey, explodey barrel! Hey, explodey revolver! Oh, twice the fun! 
Oh, you monster! Oh, oh no, they keep walking into my headshots. Up, oh, too slow. Let's see, can you guys... Oh, wow, they can't hit me up there. It's not cool. Okay, Typhoon for everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're just too stupid. Oh, even worse than zombies. They can't do anything. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, is that an enemy? No, I don't even think it's on. Never mind. Let's see if this barrel will blow it up. Nope, apparently not. It's not even on. No need to worry about it. And I still have plenty of ammo to spare. Yay, for being such a pack rat. I have more than and I still have this fun toy, too. I need to use that a little bit. No, I want to stay up here and play with dead bodies. What the fuck kind of question is this? Oh boy, it's only a thousand meters away. Jesus Christ. Oh, this gun doesn't have any iron sights either. That's some fun. Or aim down sight or look down scope, whatever. Ah. <sighs> Besides, we already do have sort of augmentation. Well, I shouldn't say it's like augmentation, but if some guy loses a leg, I mean, we put on a fucking prosthetic leg, and does anyone, does anyone say anything about that? No. So what's the problem with making that prosthetic leg a little bit better, a little more functional, and giving a little more power to boot? Uh, it's all about progressing technology, you know? Well, I would not mind an augmentation for built-in fucking iPod with 007 elevator music in here to make these atrocious fucking elevator rides a little bit more enjoying, but, well, I don't know, would that be, would that be inhuman? Would I be casting aside my, my moral compass or implanted iPod into brain? Come on, I don't really think so, but, whatever. Uh, so, let's see what kind of dastardly things we have in here. Plasma rifle? Yeah, I guess I'll take that. More ammo, more better. Painkillers. It's okay, I've got plenty of hypostims. Or hypotism. Oh, it's hypostim, never mind. That was like one word. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. I'm gonna take me some of them drugs. Yeah, I think we're good to take on the apocalypse. Can't combine that with anything, I already did it. Guess we'll go ahead and eat our protein jar. Jar included. All right, let's get the show on the road. What the hell? Oh my god. Water pressure nominal at 173 PSI. Who am I? Communications web online. I feel cold. Drones 1 through 3 within operational parameters. I don't remember. Drone 4 disconnected. Let me go. Processing. Oh god, please help me. I'm scared. Core temperature stable. Processing. Zhao, what are you doing? Connecting to Panchea's Hiron project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Ah! Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave oh, check detected. Wake up. Alert. Unable to transfer control to Alpha Pod. Ah, uh, the system won't recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of EEG. I can't to control Iron. Increasing glutamate levels by 32 percent. Zell, get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can still control 
Security alert. Through the primary drone hatch. Oh shit. 